All right, to our reaction to the Garfield movie is now. All right, let's do this. Little baby. <laughs> you hungry, little guy? I'm gonna name you Garfield. Tick tock, really? Uh. I think this is a case of mistaken identity. You must be looking for another gorgeous, lovable kitty cat. Oh boy, here we go again with a generic story. I'm sorry, but I, I'm just gonna say this is this story is just ripping off the first Secret Life of Pets movie where Max and Duke got kidnapped by Snowball, and then uh, the owner starts looking for them. I haven't seen you for years, and when I do, you're on the run. Oh, and um, oh, and Max and Duke are also in danger as well, just like how Garfield, Audi, and Garfield's dad as well. Kind of funny. Oh, oh, cheddar. Probably one of my top 26 favorite cheeses. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> my orange tabby and my dog are both missing. Your call is very important. There are 10,000 people ahead of you. Oh, Snowstock's in this. So Garfield movie. <laughs> you saw nothing. All right, let's get to the title. All right, so that was my true reaction to the Garfield movie. This looks pretty good, but honestly, my only problem is the story. I think the story is a little too generic, and a story we've seen a million times with um animal movies with like pet movies like animal movies like but i think the casting of this movie is pretty good like snoop dogg in this movie i think he's gonna do great in this movie um i also heard that audi is unfortunately not gonna talk in the movie but he's also voiced by the same actor who he voiced perito and puss the last wish and gabio in the disney movie wish so yeah, um, so that was my true reaction for the Garfield movie. This looks pretty good, but I don't think it would do that well at the box office because of the movie for Furiosa and the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie. So yeah, alright guys, thanks so much for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and peace out y'all.